Anyone remember Samsung DeX? I would say it was a mostly failed experiment, but kind of a cool concept. It was a docking station that allowed you to use your Galaxy S8 or Note 8 as almost a desktop computer, kind of. It used Samsung's own software, and it actually worked pretty darn well, but not good enough to actually replace anybody's computer, and so it quickly faded from the spotlight. Well, today we're gonna dust it off and give it a go, almost three years after it came out, believe it or not. But we're not gonna settle for Samsung software Oh no, no, no. We're gonna do this right. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're gonna try to run Windows 10 on this Galaxy S8, a phone from early 2017. What could possibly go wrong? This video might get a little bit long, so I will have timestamps in the description if you want to skip ahead and see what happens, but otherwise, let's just jump right into this. Now, believe it or not, Samsung is actually still supporting DeX on all of its newest flagships, including the Note 10, and I think there's even been a couple generations of DeX, so that's kind of neat. The S8 I bought a fair few months back now uh, actually came with the DeX pad, I didn't uh, buy it separately, but I did want to try to use DeX for something in a video, because I thought it would be fun, and so of course I figured, eh, why not run Windows on Android? That sounds like a fun time. I was surprised to see this hadn't really been done before, at least not done well. We're gonna try to push this a lot further than I think anyone has, at least with DeX. Windows 10 on Android would be pretty darn cool if it worked, and unfortunately that's a pretty big if, but uh, let's start this off by talking about DeX. There's two types of DeX. There's the DeX pad and the docking station. I have the DeX pad, and here's the box. Inside the box we have the DeX pad on the top, and then underneath, if I can ever uh, get this uh, cover off, we have the charging cables. Simple Simple, but all we need. The DeX pad has two USB ports, one HDMI port, and one USB-C port. USB could, I think, be used for pretty much anything, although typically I'd imagine you'd want to use it for mouse and keyboard, although you could always do that with Bluetooth as well. HDMI is to hook it up to the monitor, and USB-C is for powering the whole thing. Now to clarify, if I have this right, you don't actually need this DeX pad or docking station to get this to work. A USB-C to HDMI cable, or a USB-C to USB-C cable with a monitor that accepts USB-C should get DeX working. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but regardless, I don't think it's very practical because uh, without your phone being charged at the same time, your battery's probably going to die pretty quick if you hook it up to a big screen. But anyways, upon plugging the Samsung Galaxy S8 into the DeX pad, we get Samsung's desktop OS. It actually looks like a regular computer, kind of. A bit like Chrome OS mixed with Windows, I would say. You have the date and time and all your basic smartphone options on the bottom right corner, and then you also have a desktop like you would a regular computer. And of course you still have the app drawer which you can scroll through. This is kind of cool if you wanted to put your phone on the big screen. If you want to do basic internet browsing, Samsung internet is the way to do it. Chrome will default to mobile versions of all pages which is super annoying, so Samsung internet is definitely the way to go. When it comes to practical use, I'd say there's basically none for DeX. Shocker. If you have a monitor, you probably have a computer, so why would you use your phone? You could hook it up to a TV, and so I guess there could be some limited use of that, but I mean, at the same time, I, I feel like there's other ways to do that too. Most smart TVs have web features built in nowadays, like Netflix, but anyways, that is a possibility. And you can even hook it up to your laptop, believe it or not, with DeX for PC, which is an app from Samsung, but doesn't that completely negate the entire point of having a laptop? Why would you want to use your phone on your laptop? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. One interesting way to use DeX is on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. You can basically just turn it into a PC, kind of. If you hook up a keyboard and mouse, you can have it act like it would if it was connected to a monitor. That's kind of neat, and if you prop it up, I could see there being a real use case for that. If you really hate the touch interface, that's something that uh, I would consider doing if I was interested in buying a Samsung tablet. For the most part, though, when it comes to DeX, there's no reason to use it over a Windows computer, because it's not Windows, and people need Windows. Now if you could run Windows with DeX, that would be a whole different story. So let's do that. Or at least, let's try. And we're gonna try Windows 10. Will it work? I don't know, maybe. Uh, we're gonna give it our best shot though. Now there's a couple ways we could go about this. Uh, the first one is definitely more boring, but also more practical, and that's streaming your PC to the Galaxy. There are plenty of apps out there to let you do this. Personally, I use Parsec. Parsec is an app that's more geared towards gaming, I would say, which uh, I don't, I've never really used 
used it for gaming, but that's what it, I think it's supposed to be for. Regardless though, uh, it works great for me normally, and uh, there is an app on the Android Play Store, so you can get Parsec on your Android phone. There isn't on the iOS store, so if you're on iPhone, you're out of luck. Regardless though, I think that would work really well to get Windows 10 running on your phone. It's not actually on your phone, it's a different PC, but it would definitely work. The second and much more fun method would be to run Windows 10 natively on the Galaxy. But as far as I can find, uh, that is impossible, and definitely not possible without rooting the phone. Except a kind of unconventional and annoying way to do it, which is an emulator slash a virtual machine. This is unfortunately I think as close as we'll be able to get, but it might allow us to run Windows 10, and that would be ideal, so we will give it a shot. But first, let's start with streaming because it's the easy way, and we know it'll probably work. So I went and installed a Parsec on the Galaxy S8 Plus, and then I went into DeX. So really poor design feature, but by default, DeX doesn't allow you to resize apps. This is pretty annoying. Only apps that are designed for DeX can be resized. So the way to get around this is if you go into the settings and then into DeX settings, and then into like advanced settings basically, you can essentially force it to be able to go full screen. So I did this uh, so we could force full screen and then I full screened Parsec and hey, there's my PC. Love that Skyrim wallpaper. And anyways, uh, there it is. Overall, this is usable. I actually can use this with the mouse and keyboard. It's working fine. Now, there might be the question of why would you do this? If you have a monitor, you probably have a laptop or other computer nearby. So what opportunity are you gonna have to stream your PC from your phone? Blah, 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 blah. Don't bring logic into this. That's no fun. Let's Let's try gaming because what else are we gonna do? So let's start by opening up uh, a single player game. Theoretically, this is what would be best on this kind of thing because a little bit of latency is gonna is gonna happen. You're on internet, you're not hardwired, so there is gonna be some latency. But for a single player game, it doesn't really matter so much. So let's start up The Outer Worlds, which I'm really having a lot of fun with, by the way, would recommend. I got in game here and uh, nope, this isn't working. So for whatever reason, the mouse on the Samsung's end won't possess, I don't know how to say it, possess the character or the screen, or it just doesn't properly take control of the game. My guess is it's because Dex is doing something to kind of force the mouse out of disappearing. And so it's kind of messing everything up. I don't really know. However, there is a way around this and that's hooking up a controller and using that. Now, if you hook up a controller, it actually works perfectly fine. There's no issues here. You can absolutely play, run around, do whatever. There is definitely latency, but I am able to play, and this game, for the most part, is looking pretty darn good. There's some distortion here and there. Resolution is definitely not as nice as it could be. Frame rate we won't even talk about, but it is playable. Uh, but this is a single player game, and so you would kind of hope it's playable. So I guess we should move to a multiplayer game, and a good example of that might be Destiny 2. So I booted up Destiny 2, and right away we had the exact same problem with the mouse and keyboard, although this time I could kind of look around, but not really go any further than that. Like, I couldn't turn around all the way, which is uh, not ideal for a first-person shooter. Notably, I could walk around. WASD did work, but uh, the mouse didn't. So again, I, I I hated doing this, but I hooked up a controller to it, and yeah, it worked. It was slow, and uh, you don't want to play Destiny with a controller on PC. That's a terrible idea. Um, and you also don't want to stream <laughs> a multiplayer game like this either, where every millisecond counts really. Overall, you definitely can't do multiplayer games. That's really what it comes down to. Single player games for this would probably be fine if you're just streaming and you're okay with using a controller, unless you could figure out a way to get the mouse and keyboard to work, which unfortunately I couldn't. Overall, uh, this works. You can run Windows 10 this way, kind of, but it isn't good. This brings us to option numero dos, and that is run Windows 10 natively. This isn't going to be easy, but it might be possible. Now, the go-to app for this, if you look it up, was Limbo, that's what it's called. It is no longer on the Play Store, but you can still download it from the GitHub, so that's where I'd recommend downloading it from, not from any of the other sketchy download links. Upon downloading it and installing it and allowing permissions, I got here, this is Limbo. So essentially how it works is you can set up your own virtual machine, create a virtual hard drive within your phone, select an ISO, and in theory, you should be able to install Windows. So that seems almost too easy. And so after getting Limbo installed, I proceeded for the next many hours to try to get Windows 10 working, uh, specifically a 32-bit version, and I couldn't. 
uh, let's put it at that. Once in a while, I'd get stuck in recovery mode, and the most common thing that happened was just the Windows logo being up forever. It would not go past this. It's uh, very frustrating because we're that close, right? The Windows logo's there. Come on, bring us a little further. I left it on for about an hour just to see if maybe it was loading super slowly, but it still didn't proceed past that. So I, I'm just thinking this isn't going to work, unfortunately. Suffice to say, Limbo isn't working for me. I know online, uh, for some people, it did work for them, and that's great, but I can't get it to work for me, and I don't know why. I tried so many different methods, so many uh, really, really bad tutorials online uh, from YouTube. None of them worked. Really sucks, uh, but we're not completely out of the woods yet. Completely out of... That's, that's the wrong phrase for this. Completely out of the woods. No, that's not right at all. Regardless, though, there was another app that does something similar called uh, Box or something like that, and uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna go through this. It didn't work, at least not for me. So I don't know why this wasn't all working. I tried everything I, I could think of uh, and everything tutorials had, and you know, I, I tried a lot of stuff. I uh, couldn't get it to work. So Windows 10, unfortunately, is not gonna run on the Galaxy S8, at least not this time. But we could try Windows XP just for fun. That's what most tutorials use after all. So why don't we do that? And that actually brings us to now. Uh, so I'm gonna go try to install Windows uh, XP with Limbo and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. And then uh, that would be kind of neat, I guess. And it's not like Windows 10 would run well on the Samsung Galaxy S8 anyways. So let's give it a shot and I'll be right back. All right, hey, uh, we're back. It's a day later, uh, plus a few hours, and uh, things went interesting. Uh, before we talk about Windows XP, I did want to talk about PS4, more specifically PS4 Remote Play. That's a thing that can be used on Samsung DeX. Of course, you could use it on a laptop or even just your smartphone without DeX, but it is possible to use it on DeX, and so if you uh, are away from your PS4, maybe you're at a hotel, you could hook your phone up to the TV and use it to play PS4. And I think Xbox is uh, going to have that soon too. But anyways, uh, just another potential use case for DeX, so I thought I would bring it up. But back to Windows XP. I downloaded the 32-bit ISO, went into Limbo, and set up the virtual machine as usual. I then attempted to boot off the Windows XP ISO, and what do you know, it worked right away. First try too, this is pretty cool. It started by loading a bunch of stuff, and then I formatted the partition I had set up. And then bam, we were setting up Windows XP. One thing I'll say is that it was really, really slow. Moving like through options wasn't slow, but the actual setting up was really slow. Definitely not as fast as when I did this with an SSD a little while ago, but hey, what do you expect? I mean, it's a smartphone. And eventually we got to the Windows XP install screen. And then it went from slow to um, uh, barely moving. It took forever. It said to expect 39 minutes. And then 39 minutes later, it said to expect 37 minutes. Within a couple hours, a few of the basic uh, Windows XP prompts came up, like what is your computer name, that kind of thing. And another problem presented itself, the mouse. The mouse doesn't work. For whatever reason, Limbo isn't recognizing my mouse with Dex as an actual mouse. I guess it's just not set up that way, can't say I blame it, <laughs> but this is resulting in the mouse not actually really doing anything. So I have to actually click and drag the mouse around, which sucks, but might be okay if it weren't for the fact that it doesn't drag it around like you would expect. It is extremely erratic and the mouse could end up anywhere when you just do a simple drag to any direction. Well crap, but let's at least get into Windows XP because hey, that's at least a partial success. I filled out the uh, couple forms it wanted me to fill out even though it was very hard with a non-working mouse. Keyboard works fine though, so uh, there's that. After this there was still a ton of setting up to do apparently, so I left the phone to do its thing overnight. When I woke up the next morning, we'd actually moved past it. Windows was wanting to auto detect my resolution, so I said, sure, why not? And finally, the Windows XP logo popped up. This is it. All this work leading up to this one beautiful moment. And then uh, 12 hours later, I uh, started to realize maybe we weren't going to get past this. I kid, I, I realized it a little faster than that, but yeah, it was still up there 12 hours later. Stuck at please wait. So that's a good sign. Uh, this is enough for me to finally, finally give up. It just isn't happening. Windows on Android is not meant to be, at least not today. If I wanted to push this further, I could try using a DOSBox emulator for like Windows 95 or something, but uh, honestly, I couldn't be bothered at this point. This has taken way too long just to get to here. Moral of the story, uh, DeX for Windows doesn't work unless you're just streaming your PC. So 
Yeah, I'm sure everyone's shocked by uh, that conclusion. And uh, also, I think Dex is just kind of pointless in general. If someone out there uses Dex, if one of my viewers here uses Dex on the regular, that's actually kind of impressive and I'm curious as to what you use it for so maybe let me know in the comments down below I'm sure there is a use case for it for some people I personally though and I think most people just uh, wouldn't have one so I, I do think Dex is a bit pointless but hey if you can uh, find a use for it that's great and of course if you really desperately need to use Windows on your phone Windows phones are technically still an option I love the picture for the news there uh, yeah I mean you could always use a Windows phone even though they're unsupported and uh, also kind of suck. But uh, what's interesting is that uh, a Windows phone actually did all of this, what Samsung DeX does before Samsung DeX, and that was the HP Elite X3. It came with a dock uh, that you could use to hook it up to a monitor and turn it into like actual Windows, but it still used an ARM processor and so it couldn't run actual Windows apps, making it just as pointless as Samsung DeX. But hey, uh, it was kind of neat and I'm sure that's where Samsung got the idea for DeX. Samsung DeX is a cool idea and I've always liked the concept. There just are not a whole lot of um, practical use cases for it. I mean, sure, if you have, you know, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, I, I could see you wanting to use DeX, but that's a little different from what I was mostly talking about in this video. DeX just isn't great and that's why not a lot of people use it and it kind of flopped. I appreciate what Samsung tried, but I would not be surprised if in the near future it was quite quietly discontinued. Windows on Android right now is unfortunately a pipe dream, but as smartphones get more powerful, hey, you never know. Hope you found this video at least somewhat interesting. I spent a lot of time on this, so hopefully people will like it. If you did, maybe hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech if you want sneak peeks into what I've got going on. I won't say anything, but I do have a project I'll start working on pretty soon here that I'm kind of excited about. Not dropping any hints here probably will on social at some point but for now uh yeah go follow me over there or don't i mean it's up to you anyways uh thank you so much for watching i'm josh from 91 tech and i will see you all next time mm -hmm.